the Philippines is attending the upcoming peace summit in Switzerland on the Ukraine war, disclosed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky following his surprise meeting with his Philippine counterpart, Ferdinand Marcos Jr., in Manila on June 3. The two leaders met just two days after Mr. Zelensky's unscheduled visit to Singapore during the Shangri-La Dialogue, Asia's premier defense forum, where he asked Asia-Pacific leaders to join the summit on June 15 and 16 aimed at bringing peace to his war-torn country. We discussed the inaugural Global Peace Summit and the importance of Southeast Asian countries being represented there. I am pleased that the Philippines will participate in the summit. Mr. Zelensky posted via his official account on social media platform X. It remains unclear for now if Mr. Marcos himself will attend the summit or if a ranking official will be sent instead. The two presidents were supposed to meet on the sidelines of the Shangri-La Dialogue during the weekend, but their schedules did not synchronize. Mr. Zelensky then flew to Manila in the early morning of June 3. Both leaders criticized China during the security forum, which was held amid growing tensions between Beijing and Manila over the South China Sea territorial dispute, as well as the wars in Ukraine and Gaza. In his keynote address in Singapore, Mr. Marcos hit out at what he described as the illegal, coercive, aggressive and deceptive actions being taken in the disputed South China Sea. Though he did not directly name Beijing. Tensions have been boiling between Beijing and Manila during these past months, as the China Coast Guard has been firing water cannon on Philippine ships, sending supplies to troops stationed at a remote outpost in a disputed shore. Mr. Zelensky, meanwhile, held a separate press briefing in Singapore and accused China of allegedly helping Russia thwart the peace summit in Switzerland. During their meeting, Mr. Marcos told Mr. Zelensky that the Philippines is looking forward to working together with Ukraine in forging peace. He also welcomed Ukraine's plan to open an embassy in the Philippines later in 2024. That's certainly very good news because we would very much like to continue to help in any way that the Philippines can through multilateral channels and the United Nations. And even through other agencies such as the European Union, said Mr. Marcos. He then reiterated the Philippines' support for Ukraine in its war against Russia. We will continue to do all that we can to promote peace and to bring an end to the fighting and to come to a political resolution of your country. Mr. Marcos said. I think everybody fully understands that it is easier said than done, and it will be a difficult road to find our way back to the situation that is morally acceptable not only to Ukraine, but also to the rest of the world, he added. In November 2022, the Philippine leader had described Russia's invasion of Ukraine's territories as unacceptable and asked both nations to resolve the conflict in a diplomatic manner. The Philippines also voted in favor of a UN General Assembly resolution condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Mr. Zelensky thanked Manila for its continued support. We are very thankful to be here in your country, which supports Ukraine, our territorial integrity and sovereignty. Thank you so much for your big word and clear position about us, about this Russian occupation of our territories he said.